are the cracks in the walls and the ceilings. Now, any home that has settled, and this can be a new home, it can be an old home, but once the foundation settles, it's easy to get cracks in the walls and the drywall. And it doesn't mean the home has been neglected and it doesn't mean that the house is old. What it means is that the house has just settled and there are stress cracks that we need to start looking for because it looks like, oh no, the house is falling apart, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're fixing the cracks, a lot of the time when we're taking a look at this, we can just go around the house. And my recommendation is that you do like you do when you buy a new house, go through the house with new eyes and take a look and go, oh, I've got a stress fracture here in this wall. Put a piece of blue tape on it. I've got one over here in the corner of this room. Check all of the areas in your house, like the window sills, if they're starting to separate from the window pane. A lot of times with the moisture in the air, if you have air climates where you have cold, cold winters and warm, warm summers, the wood on the window panes will expand. Just go through and anytime there's like separation, put a blue piece of tape on it. And then when you get your spackling and your caulking, you can come back through and you can start making these small repairs. Because the small repairs, believe it or not, you're talking about a little bit of spackling in those areas, sand it down, a light cover of just touch-up paint. You don't even have to paint the whole wall and it can make the wall look brand new again. Absolutely. And the, again, those small cracks are more often than not a result of the home settling, but I can put that buyer in the mindset, oh, is there something serious going on here? Again, the home inspection, the, you know, the inspector is going to look at the foundation of the home, but you just want to eliminate any of those obstacles right off the bat if you can. And that's fixing those cracks. It's going to give the home a nice clean appearance and eliminate that fear that, wow, something big is going on structurally with the house. But when we're talking about fixing the cracks in the walls, also don't forget about the nail pops. I was sitting there the other night with my husband and we're watching TV. And I'm like, what is that in the ceiling? And it looked like a leak, like there was a leak from up above, which means something in my roof was leaking. He said, I don't know, but that looks horrible. And it was like the whole ceiling had just kind of like caved in a little bit. And as I got up close, it was just a nail pop that was coming through and it had just popped the drywall off and it was completely dry and there was no staining around it, but it was really unsightly. And then the plaster dropped off and now like there's a little hole there and it has to be respackled. Thank goodness that's all it was. But if somebody were to walk through the house today, they'd go, oh, look, your ceiling is falling in. And it's just the, the drywall is... There, there's pressure on it. So it's pulling that drywall screw out. And usually the fix is to put two additional drywall screws in there, a little spackle, a little paint, and it'll hold for years and years and you won't have that anymore. So again, just the cost of a couple drywall screws and some paint, it's an easy fix.